it kills all of those germs on your hands. A squirt of hand sanitizer and hand delivered lunches directly to their desks. Lunchtime for these 17 first graders at Alderman Elementary School in Greensboro looks and sounds a little different these days. You guys can pull your mask down while you eat. This room of six year olds was pretty quiet. Guys, talk to your friends, talk to the people beside of you, okay? But just stay in your seats. Everybody's kind of bashful and a little bit shy, and so giving them that reminder is like, Hey guys, you can talk now. Exactly what I want. Teacher Amber Garcia noticed right away that after months of virtual learning, her kids needed to learn more than just reading and math. That's something that we're definitely going to put first um, is that kids definitely need to be talking to their friends, um, turning to the person beside of them. It's one of the many changes going on in the classrooms. They're also having to adjust to cleaning up, keeping masks on, and socially distancing themselves from each other. You know, their first instinct is to run and hug you, and I'm like, hey, air high five air fist bump, you know, like air hugs, you know, that kind of thing. I was very excited to be back to see my kids. The feeling is mutual. And I can finally see them in person because I don't want to see them on camera. Second grader Audrey Johnson was done learning online. I couldn't really hear what she was saying and people kept on interrupting. She's overjoyed to be back in school, even if that means she can't get close to her friends and the teachers don't show their full faces. These necessary changes <laughs> well worth it for these moments you can only find in a classroom. I got into teaching for the kids. That's why I'm here. I'm not here for <laughs> the social distancing and things like that, but I am here for the kids. That is what is important. That's why I'm still here.